Well, greetings. Hello and uh, welcome. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Imperial Jedi and we're playing Project High Rise. In this game, oh, such a gem. It just, it, it kind of flew under my radar, actually. I was just uh, reminiscing about uh, Sim Tower while I was playing uh, City Skylines the other day, and one of my subscribers was nice enough to point this game out, and holy smokes, I can't even believe I haven't heard of it before. So I think it's kind of a relatively new game. It's available on Steam. I'll, I'll post a link in the uh, description so you guys can check that out below. But I've only been playing a couple hours, and I'm pretty new myself. But I feel like I've got a pretty good um, kind of like starting base uh, strategy. So I'm going to make this kind of like a combined let's play and um, kind of like a helpful guide series. So the first few episodes, there are going to be some tips and tricks and stuff. And then, you know, when the tower gets a little bit bigger, that's when we can start experimenting and trying stuff out for the first time. But I'll get us to a good financial kind of start. So let's, let's just jump in with that. So I'm going to give us a little bit of a wider lot just to kind of, you know, plan for the future. You can change the name if you want, but we're, we're fine with that. And our difficulty levels on engineer. All right, so the game, I mean, realistically, it is a little bit intimidating when you first jump in. Lots of buttons, and you might just be like, "What in the heck have I just done here?" But, um, but no, it's, not, it's actually not too bad once you get the hang of it. And so, if you did play Sim Tower back in the day, like you'll really thoroughly enjoy this. It's just a little bit more depth, a little bit more more to do and, and manage. Okay, so it's it's finally the time running right now. That's no problem. Uh, first thing you want to do is just kind of plan out. You guys are very welcome to copy what I'm doing. But you want to kind of plan out your generic little shape. And uh, just, you know, kind of keep costs down. We're not going to use elevators in the beginning. And we're going to go a little bit wide, maybe, you know, three or four floors to kind of start. Once you get past the fifth floor or so, that's when people kind of start complaining that there's no um, no elevator. Okay, so uh, you get power and utilities and hydro and stuff um, just through your basement sublevels. Um, they pass from floor to floor with these little um, utility closets. There's one for hydro. We're not going to put these down just yet because the demand for it doesn't really happen right away, so we don't need them to, you know, kind of save our costs. But we're going to be aware of them, so we're going to leave one little space right here when we're planning. You know, we'll do the corresponding downstairs. And then on this side of the building, I just know from the way I like to do things, I want to put our business services over here. And those are five units. So let's do the match down there. And then if you zoom out, um, you can kind of see your little transit stop over there. So all your traffic and everything, all your people and whatnot, they all come from this side of the map and make their way over. So you'll have some buildings that want to be in a high traffic area. So you put those on the left side of your buildings. And then buildings that want to be in a quiet spot, you put them on the right hand side. That's a little friendly tip right there. And then on this side, we're going to leave a spacing of three. And we want to have our elevator and our stairs just next to each other. So if the elevator breaks, you know, you just got the stairs as a backup, right? And then we're going to want to have, uh, take two rows of restaurants and then little offices. And those are going to be four units wide. Maybe we can just put the corresponding down there if we want. So we'll put in the next set of stairs. And then there are some things when you place them that are going to have a higher priority than others. Otherwise, Whatever you place will get built in the order in which it was placed. But for example, the fact that this uh, staircase just went down, this person that left um, you know, doing the walls, they're going to put this down as kind of priority. Same with the elevators, same if I were to zone some of this for offices. And then in the beginning, yeah, that sounds a very grand statement, in the beginning. Uh, but to start, you have options for apartments or offices, and the offices are are, I think, a lot easier to kind of work with. So let's go for those to, uh, to start. And we're not going to put any on the ground floor. And you actually don't get too many options for what offices you can put in, unless you start putting down some restaurants and cafes. And just because we know that stairs and whatnot are kind of a busier, just general area, let's put one right here. Um, we won't be able to put anything down here until these people are finished with the, uh, the building. So let's turn up the speed. Oh gosh, we already are on... Oh. So one and two, those um, uh, control the speed. Space bar is for um, pause. And me hitting that the whole time, I thought this was two, but it's actually a one, so there we go. Perfect. Okay, so let's put in our utility box. Or sorry, our wiring closet for this floor. And then we know for sure on both these floors, everyone's gonna need electricity. So let's put in those lines right now. And these are the kind of things I like to put in place before uh, we start letting our tenants come in because they're very likely to move right out. Like, imagine you're a tenant and you're paying rent and there's no electricity, right? Like, that's not going to happen. You're going to leave. 
And we have to pay money to build the store type thing, so it's kind of an inefficient uh, way to go about things. And just the way I like to plan our, um, our office tower, I'm going to have only phone lines on this floor. And this is to save a little bit of money in the beginning as well. And we don't have to have a staircase up here. We can if we want to. But these will go up to that floor. It's a little bit deceiving with the way the uh, camera is. There's our daily expenses versus our daily revenues. You can see we're blasting cash, not making very much. But that's okay. It's, it's early on. Okay, so we can put some of these in. Just leave space for our elevator. And then down here. So this one will be a little restaurant. This one will be a cafe eventually, so that'll be kind of placeholder. This one as well, a restaurant, just for some varieties. There's like little snack bars type thing. And then everything else will be offices and all the, the cool stuff. So we can zone these out now, just for kind of a visual reference sake. And then we'll put in our services over here. We'll go over um, that when we kind of see what the demand is for them. And then what I'd like to do now is put in the phone lines. Oops, we need our wiring closet up here. Start with electricity. Awesome. Phone lines. Just going this way. We're going to try and cut back on expenses wherever possible. Because right here, I know that from experience that the service that we're going to put in won't need a phone line. So that's totally no problem. And then we can just put these in just for some like visual reference. So we know what's what's going on here. Cool, and then we'll just leave the main floor a little bit open. Uh, we can always put down some stuff a little bit later on, right? Okay, so for us to look at some of our higher panes, we need more restaurants. Ah, of course, let's put those in. So they just need an electrical line. Let's go ahead and drop that. That should be easy peasy. Uh, we have no one else for potential tenants. So we can pay uh, $100 to grab you know, a new listing. I don't think it's money well spent at this point. Sometimes we get lucky, maybe we'll have two or three, but whatever. This thing pays for itself anyhow, right? So obviously we want the highest paying one. So we'll put that in. We'll leave this open for a cafe. Can't put a cafe down until we get some prestige. And we get a prestige um, star when we start getting a higher happy population type thing. So let's try and get some taxpayers in before, um, or like rent payers in before the 2400 hour cycle is up. That's when the... Uh, the clocks and everything kind of balance. So for us to go top floor, so legal office, we want the highest rent payer. They want courier um, and copy service, and then they also need a phone and electrical. So to make them happy, let's put in the business services. And so courier, we'll put that on the ground floor because we want courier to be a bit faster. And then copy service, you can just have that like down the hall, so we would put it on the second floor type thing. And then we'll leave this one open, and we'll see if anyone else has any other demands. But most of them in the beginning just ask for those two things. So bada bing, bada boom. It says we don't have the phone met because we haven't put one of these boxes in. So let's put in a switchboard. And then we'll upgrade, uh, sorry, upgrade to, lose my voice here. Upgrade to, uh, to a second one, or sorry, we'll put down a second one when demand uh, gets to it. And then you can see they have a daily cost of 350 per day. It makes sense to switch to these on your third. Same with um, same with these, right? Just the way the math kind of pans out. And then just from experience, I know this is not going to be enough power, so let's drop one of these in as well. Okay, so let's go a little bit nuts getting some people in here. Just got no race against time type thing. And then if there's no um, demand as well for uh, phone line, let's put them just down here. But let's try and empty these out, and then we can pay uh, for another listing. But ideally, we want just like all of these filled. And then we'll save our new listing for the top. Okay, great. And why don't we put the speed back up here? And in the beginning, if you have a few negative days, totally not the end of the world. You just want to be spending the money well. Okay, perfect. So we're looking for phone lines. That's great. Oh, great. Okay, we're off to a pretty good start right here. 
So in terms of profitability and stuff, let's kind of slow the speed down and kind of look things over. Um, we have the ability to add some more offices comfortably. We can add six more without really any issue. So if we go up by one floor, that's an additional um, five offices. So let's do that. And then we have the ability to put in five more phone lines. So let's do that as well. And we have enough money kind of to justify that. So we'll go up one floor. Let's put in our staircase. We're on our fourth floor now. So we're not going to go too much taller without putting in the elevator. So just be aware of that as well. And you know, same old song and dance, wiring closet, that kind of stuff go in now. Very easy to forget this stuff. So you kind of want to get the habit of doing them. And then we know we're going to put some phones up here. Cool. Okay, so speed can go back on now. We may have unlocked... Oh, no, we haven't got our prestige yet. Let me get that tomorrow or today. Oh, there it is right there. Speaking of which. So now we can put a cafe down. Okay, so the more expensive one you can see needs a water pipe. To be honest, I don't think it's worth absorbing all the costs associated with a... Um, a water thing just to get an extra 50 in rent not even per day so let's put that in because it only needs electrical people really just want coffee let's be realistic you know <laughs> i mean a coffee kiosk is really all that we need i think in this point because if you don't actually put a cafe down people start requesting coffee so we'll put that down and you also want some variety too right you don't want all the same things so that'll make our people happy okay so in terms of this demand we may actually we may actually need an, a, um, another electrical box, which is totally fine. And so I was saying on the third one, that's when you upgrade because you're spending, you know, the, the same amount per day. We don't happen to have an extra 2000 to uh, to spend on this. <clears throat> but what we could do is take out a contract. So you get an upfront um, uh, little payment for the contracts. And they're pretty easy to, um, to complete. You can have kind of two running at a time here. So we can read what ours are. So higher population, if we get up to 50 uh, people, that'll give us the other 1,500. And if we get a daily rent of 1,000, that'll unlock the other 1,500 there too. So I'm going to pause because we're about to lose power. It's just, it's efficient in the long run to do this. Even though it might seem a little crazy and, you know, putting this much money down, right? But we'd be spending the 750 per day anyway. So you might as well get the extra 20 connections out of it. That's kind of my logic right there. And we do still have some money that we can put in one more service because we're going to be putting in some creative offices up here. And we should already have the phone line and whatnot down, right? So everyone's already, like those, are, those kind of things are already in, right? So let's put the speed on one because we want to be out of the 24-hour cycle here. And drop down another set of offices. Speed up the time now that we're catching up with these guys it's all about efficiency okay great so let's slow it down let's look now at the creative offices and let's see what they need so they need office supply and those guys need bottled water so conveniently we've got two slots open i kind of anticipated that that's why we went up the extra two floors here so let's put those down and that pretty much covers your basic services and allows you to kind of grow a little bit wider without having to worry about adding too much stuff in. And then we can really start raking in the money. Because right now, we're not, you know, not exactly millionaires. Okay, so that was, um, what do we need here? Office supply, of course. And you can always double check if you're unsure. And it'll tell you in this area if there is um, one present and if there's demand for it. But we're kind of jumping the gun, so we're putting them down before there's demand which I think is a little bit more efficient. But we unfortunately can't afford to place that. So it looks like we're actually gonna have to wait till the next day, which is not the end of the world. We're just hoping that with this many people paying rent that um, our costs and everything are gonna kind of offset. So it looks like they did, which is great. And because we made over the $1,000, we um, got that little bonus as well. So that's good news. So we can now unlock another contract, which is office or uh, awesome office. <laughs> I saw that and it kind of distracted me, right? So let's do the incremental income. That's kind of easy to get. Excellent. So you can see our goal right here of 3,000. We're at 1,800. But now we've got some extra spending money. That was kind of the main main thing there. So office supply store, that can go in. Let's go over to our creative offices, start dropping these guys down. Perfect. Great. 
Oh, fantastic. Look, there's rent coming in. Excellent. And we'll just double check our numbers down here. So these, when they move in, um, we'll kind of see. Because sometimes this is a little bit slow to, to play catch up. That we know is totally fine. This, though, hmm, we might maybe need another box down. So just for safety's sake, even though we're going to expand anyway, you know, we might not need it now. We know we will. So let's go ahead and drop this in. So we don't want to have people mad at us, right? And again, if you want, you can put this here if you feel like you don't want to have that open hole. You don't have to, though. I like to put it there because I like to see a set of stairs. I guess I'm strange like that, right? And in real life, I imagine you need, like, roof access, right? So kind of my logic for that, you know? Okay, so let's go a little bit wider. But because, um, like I was saying before, like, the left side is the busier side. So, yeah, basically, yeah, like I was saying, like, all the transit, everyone comes from this side, so restaurants, anyone that needs, like your shops and stuff, anyone that needs high traffic goes on the left. Anyone that wants things a little bit quieter, like those offices and stuff, they go on the right. And what we're going to do, just because of the way the um, area is set up here, is we're eventually going to put in another set of elevators and stairs. But we're going to go a little bit further out first, just so they're kind of spaced out. So just to kind of get a basic amount of offices and whatnot in, why don't we just throw in another line? But because, or another set of offices, but because we have to draw the power through this, we're going to spend the extra money and whatnot, let's kind of make it efficient and worthwhile. Oh, we're out of money. Oh, my goodness. Where does it all go? Well, luckily, we're making lots of it. So I want to go out another four squares, and then we'll go up, and then we have room for eight more offices, and that should really, really get us moving. And then we can put in our elevators and start going a little bit taller. And hopefully by then we will be unlocking our um, our next set of like bigger buildings and whatnot. Okay, great, some more money to work with. And at this point, you want to be efficient with the money. You don't want to just spend your day's income without getting any more um, rent pairs coming in. So we're going to be wary of that because we have to put in you know electrical lines that kind of stuff too, right? So why don't we hop the gun, go on the top because we want phones as well, right? And then we can put in two offices to start, and then we can go from there. Okay, so they got all the demands met. Because again, you have to keep increasing that money every single day here. Especially if we're adding on more and more costs and, and this kind of stuff. Okay, great. Put that in. So I'm not going to spend the money on a listing. Um, you can see we only need electrical for that. So we're going to put those. Oh, look at that. We just unlocked the next level. Perfect. We'll save those for the second episode, though. And so if it's only electrical, we can put them on the ground floor. What am I looking for here? There we are. I don't know if we're going to have enough to put them both in, though. That's the only, the only thing here. I think we need 125. Oh, 100. Beautiful. OK, so we'll put those both in. Increase in our population. We've increased our prestige, which is great. We're trying to get some uh, buzz points here. And then popular retail stores, you know, get uh, generate some buzz. So usually our coffee shop, that kind of stuff, is our, our good buzz makers. Which is kind of ironic that you get a buzz from, from coffee, right? That kind of, I think that's kind of intentional. But um, but yeah. So everyone's kind of happy. That's great. I don't think anyone's moved out yet, too. Knock on wood. So that's also a great way to kind of start. But I think what we'll do, guys, is we're going to um, end things off here. Hopefully you guys have learned enough to kind of get yourself started. Um, we'll just kind of continue with this. So episode two is going to be some more tips. We'll kind of grow and I'll show you a little bit more on my kind of starting strategy. And then, you know, like when the episodes when we get further along, that's when everything kind of gets hectic and we can experiment and we'll, we'll try some new stuff. And you guys can totally suggest, uh, you know, some designs and what to do on certain floors. I'm all about that. So, but yeah, if you enjoyed it, definitely hit the like button. Um, if you want to see some more, hit the subscribe button too. I'd love to have you uh, hang out with us. Look at that, perfect way to end things off. So, income and rent looking great. Let's put it on just slow speed. Yeah, thanks guys, I'm Imperial Jedi. This has been the first episode of Project High Rise, a little bit of a beginner's guide. And yeah, we'll see you guys in episode two. Looking forward to reading the comments. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys have a lot of fun with this game. I'm, I'm definitely enjoying it. All right, take care, all the best.